G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Aussie StarCraft. Today we'll be bringing you a very high level ZVZ matchup. Uh, it's a recent ladder game played between the uh, Red Zerg player in the top right, which is Liquid TLO, and the bottom left hand corner we have Aces Nurgio. So there's a recent ladder game, it was played in the last few days. And so not from a tournament or anything, not a best of series, just a one off these two players meeting on ladder for a bit of practice. As you can see they know each other pretty well. <laughs> Alright, so we have a ZVZ matchup, always a very uh interesting matchup. Often um often even Zerg players, their least favourite matchup is in fact Zerg vs Zerg. Um uh, I know personally when I play <laughs> play Zerg, I hate I hate I hate the first few minutes of a ZVZ matchup. Uh, constant constant threat of if you fail to scout properly, a big speedling run by or uh, some well placed banelings can end your game ex exceptionally quickly. So ZVZ in the current environment very volatile. So it'll be interesting to see how these two play this game out. We have TLO's overlords moving out into scouting positions, very common. Try and place as many of your overlords between the two bases as possible, because in early games, Zerg vs Zerg, there's nothing that actually uh, can shoot these down very capably. All the early uh, low tier Zerg units only have ground attacks, so the only thing in the early game that's likely to threaten these overlords is queens, and you'll never see those moving out into the centre of the map. Much, much too slow a movement speed. Have some early Zerglings here from Nurgio. A bit bit surprising. This, this game's going to get underway quite quickly. TLO's got his pull down, so it's it's unlikely that he'll be and and his expansion going down. It's very likely that TLO will need to cancel this expansion. There's very little in the way of defense ready ready for this play. You can see as you can see, his overlords in the middle of the map have picked up these Zerglings. And he's morphing a few of his own. Cancel, cancel that geyser, and we'll likely see him drop, drop a queen and possibly a spine crawler. If you're wondering, the reason he hasn't cancelled this expansion yet is there's a possibility that he may be able to save it when his zerglings get out. There's a few drones to give him the edge, and that way he'll be a couple of minutes ahead of Nurcio's expansion. The other reason is by leaving it here and not cancelling it straight away, gets himself in a great position to uh, buy time in his main base to to build some extra units and fend off this attack. Though with the hatchery on this lower health it will be extremely susceptible to later attacks. <laughs> As you can see he's brought his queen down. It's unlikely that we'll see him use a transfuse anytime soon to save this, but the Queen will help him clean up these last few Zerglings. You can see that while Nurcio did a good deal of damage to the hatchery in that attack, if we bring up the units lost tab, we find it's it's uh, it's favouring Nurcio, but only just he lost lost those Zerglings and the biggest damage to Nurcio is actually the fact that his queens were delayed, and as a result he's f actually quite behind in lava compared to TLO. We can see that TLO has 15 harvesters in the main and six in the expansion, and uh, whereas Nurcio only has one at his expansion and 16 in his main. So if we go to the income tab, we can see as as expected, TLO is in the lead, only just, but is in the lead on in that respect. And he's got much more lava ready and available to use. Let's see the overlords chilling in the middle of the map, hanging out, catching up on the gossip. And a few more zerglings scouting backward and forward, making sure there's no other sneaky shenanigans going on. You'll see that this hatchery is slowly regaining health, but it will be very vulnerable to counterattacks and until it's <laughs> until it recovers substantially. TLO is obviously a bit sensitive that to that, dropping a few spine crawlers to help. But Nurcio likewise placing some in his natural. If we go to the production tab, 
we can see that uh, TLO has dropped his Baneling nest whereas Nurcio has opted to pass on the Banelings and try, and try and catch up with a few extra waves of drones. We have TLO Zerglings here, here in the main base now with Zergling speed. Going to be a little bit difficult for Nurcio to catch those as he passed on that, that upgrade for, in favour of the early aggression. We bring up the workers kill tab, we can see it's two to three, the workers the TLO lost earlier when he pulled his drones off the line to help defend against those zerglings. We can see that we have a very evenly matched uh, game on our hands. Nurcio is still producing drones like crazy to try and try and catch TLO and so we've brought it up to roughly 33, 34 apiece. You can see that Nurcio's already scouted this third base, the Overlord placed there to see the timing of that. And TLO dropping uh, dropping a few buildings at the front of Roach Warren and Evo Chamber to help wall in the front as best as he can. Got some good creep spread going from Nurcio. Likely to see quite a bit of Zergling play out of him while he it'd be interesting to see what he chooses mid mid game unit of choice dropping the third base of his own uh, up up here rel relatively relatively safe and easy to defend he's already got the creep spread most of the way towards it so he should be able to defend that a fair bit easier than TLO who uh, as of yet hasn't hasn't really pushed out that creep spread so he's, he's substituting a little bit instead of creep tumors going for the old overlord highway puking creep all over the map. So <laughs> TLO's continue to, continuing to drone pretty hard. It's up to 50 harvesters to 37, but we do have a sizable Zergling Baneling force moving out into the middle of the map. This could actually be quite catastrophic for TLO if he doesn't uh, get, a, get a few more units out. But a few roaches on the way, but it would have been ideal if he had them up here to to block the ramp. Nurcio doing well to get a spread on these units, making sure these TLO's banelings get very little damage. A surround on the roaches would be devastating for TLO. Those roaches will go down very quickly. We see Nurcio's banelings in the mineral line. Oh! Up to 13 workers killed. Likely this natural expansion's going to go down. It's looking pretty grim here for TLO. He's quickly trying to recover as best he can. And it's a shame that again he didn't quite get his ramp blo blocked off. But these, these roaches are going to make life very hard for these Zerglings. You can see him kiting around. That's more to buy some additional time for units to spawn than it is anything else. <laughs> we have a steady stream of zerglings coming from Nurcio. He obviously has little intention of going past this phase of the game. Just persist persistent waves of speedlings. TLO hanging on by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> you can see TLO trying to keep his queen alive with the with the drones on hold position. Very clever. Always always good with good with some sneaky play. Unfortunately the queen does go down. and using the same trick to try and keep the last of these roaches alive. If he can hold off for a few more moments, he, he may, may be able to hang in there, but the just wave after wave of speedlings is, is making it very difficult for him to stay in this game. The one advantage, the one thing he's got going for him is that the sheer amount of lava that this is costing Nurcio is preventing him from droning up. So while, while it's obvious that TLO is behind at this stage of the game, he's certainly not as behind as he could be. See the units lost heavily favouring Nurcio, that's mainly because these speedlings are just so cheap for the damage they're doing. And 
can see TLO trying really hard to get these roaches in a position where they can't be easily surrounded. Using that ro <laughs> roach speed to good effect, making sure the zerglings don't get a lot of free surrounds. But, but the diff difference in income is, is slowly, slowly wearing TLO down. So back down to very few roaches on the field. Only four roaches compared to six, 67 zerglings, and he GG's out of the game. Excellent example of just how volatile early game zerg vs zerg can be. Um, a few extra waves of drones, and TLO ended up getting swamped by that early sp speedling aggression from Nurture. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the cast. I'll be looking forward to bringing you some more high-level replays later on today.